what are some of the best places to get health potions and revives as we do the start of the very first grind guides of 2021 yes we are indeed doing them so this is going to be part of a long series i did this back in 2019 and i'm revisiting this now for 2021 as we go where's the best place to get certain things resources potions revives and this video which is the best place and how to get potions and revives these things are either easy to get if you know the places to go or not easy to get if you know where if you don't know where to go and we're going to break things down do bear in mind that from time to time kabam will put out special events they allow you to get some revives and health potions there could be a special monthly thing like a special side event which allow you an opportunity to get them and spend them for a limited time only the uh, most recent time i think we had that it was a shang chi event and it was for, it was specific to the actual content itself and nobody really needed to use that but Kabam do from time to time give out opportunities, whether or not they're going to be in special crystals. And for time time after time there are some, like if you save up the free crystals, chances are you might pick up yourself up a revive from it or a health potion, which is going to be helpful to your kind of uh, acquisition and then kind of like use them for different content, especially in this day and age where things haven't been great with Marvel Contest of Champions from a running perspective. So yeah, we've got special events. We've got crystals, that especially the Legends event, and so many other places to grab them. Let's break this down. First of all, we're going to do health potions, the best places to go. Then we're going to talk about revives and also talk about solo events and how that plays into a factor and some grind processes when it comes to those things and best ways to pick them up. So let's begin with these bad boys here, health potions. Where's the best place to go in order to pick them up? Now, the thing is, level 5 health potions, not commonly given out for free. A lot of the time you can get transferences from level 3 to level 4 ones. We had a trade-in event recently with a legendary event. And that's one of the main, main things to watch out for is those special events. But it really kind of like starts and ends with level 3 health potions and also level 2 ones. Yes, from time to time you will pick up level 1s for your tr trouble and for your grind. Uh, but a lot of the time you will kind of uh, only find them out from doing this. First of all, it will be doing the solo event. Depending on the rarity of the pro progression and title as you are you may not see a level 4 health potion there you may see less than that but it is something indeed to work for and work with so do look out to do your solo events on a daily basis you can also go to your monthly content as you're doing grinds through various different things you'll see that depending on the difficulty you do you'll probably bump into these revives and health potions health potions in particular more than likely through your time so you'll pick them up from doing repeating of event quests and i do recommend if you want to pick yourself up some sneaky units for a very low end kind of grind is then doing and repeating a little bit of normal difficulty this is more advised when we've got hero use on hero use is on currently and it's good to take out your strongest champions to then auto fight through it number one you're getting revives you're getting uh, units for kind of 100%ing some of the content. Number two, you're doing your solo event, getting the revives, health potions, and uh, 25 units a time. So, um, yeah, for those that want a little bit of an easy route. There's also something that has been a sneaky thing for 2021 that's been quite popular, and it's re-repeating older content like this. Repeating classics of some of the old variants have meant that players are picking up a little bit of health potions along the way. Not level 3 ones, but level 2 ones. If that's not something that's interesting of you in order to do, do bear in mind they operate in the same way as event quests where by 100 percent of them, you get units and they're pretty easy stuff to auto fight through, especially if you have a 5 star, a 565, it is a, an opportunity to do that. If you are with, with a load of energy and you want to spend it, get yourself a revive because there could be the um, revive repeating, but I'll talk about that when we get onto the section of uh, revives. Now, finishing off, the health potion grind guide let's like you know we're all gonna i'm all gonna say we're gonna end on the same thing and that has got to be realm of legends realm of legends as you know is a great opportunity to repeat them whether or not you've got like a go-to six star go-to five star one particular five star champion that you like and you can rotate very nicely around and you can repeat it with a synergy boost to them i think you'll probably know exactly what i'm talking about as repeating the content can give a lovely level 3 health potion. I do love it when that happens. And you can continue on re-repeating these particular fights. 
and go right to the very end, get health potions for doing all these bosses, or re-repeat the Winter Soldier one if you think that's going to be advisable to do. And that's been a great source uh, when it comes to doing those special legendary trade-in events. So yeah, more of those hopefully in the future because we'll be able to like, trade in and get a hell of a lot back. So yeah, I thoroughly like it when uh, I'm grinding health potions for that particular purpose. That's the best place to go to level 3. Level 2 is from uh, the places that we talked about and level 4 from the solo event of course. Okay, let's move on now to getting revives. Now, there is in Storybook 1 various different quests, especially when it comes to the lower difficulties of some of Act 5, some of Act 4, in various places there's been tipped that there are places to go to grab yourself lots of revives. I think it was um, 4.1.6 potentially and also some others. I, I, the reason I'm not going to go too in depth into that and kind of go that is a definite place to go is it falls back to this this kind of like change I think that's happened. Before it used to be case you could re-repeat that content and see a revive each and every time. That is not the case now. It's a lot less frequent than it appears. A lot of people have said, yeah, it's a dead shot thing. Just like, nah, nah, it's, it's not as good as it used to be. So whether or not Kabam have decided to nerf that, it, it is yet to be seen. But there are definite places to get revives that are a bit more consistent. But there is one that's inconsistent that I will talk about in a minute. So one of the consistent places to go is the 22-hour event. And whether or not you're doing various different things, whether it be event quest completion, level up, arena wins or hero use, there's an opportunity out there. And I'll talk about solo events and how the best process is to grind in a minute uh, for that. But there's places to go to get revives that are important. Repeating content, like when you're doing your event quest and you go back on a monthly basis, there's occasionally some months you'll find that some months you won't a lot of revives being placed in different types of areas which is going to be great to re-repeat that content and say to yourself hey i found a revive on that path go grab it it's actually a lot more what has a lot more worth than you might think and uh and also there is uh, opportunities in variants now variants again is that iffy one to kind of mention to get uh -oh. stinky poop <laughs> Poopies, buddy, poopies. La, 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 la. <laughs> now, variants are another place to go. That's for the iffy one I was talking about, about redoing content. Recently, as I said, this, become, this has become quite popular, and the re repeating of certain content, which I believe to be this one, pre the, the Arachnid Action one, there are some quests that if you re repeat them, you will see a lot more revives. For me personally, I saw on uh, the var I think it was either the variant or the classics. I think it's more like the classics. On the final test, the monster, and I don't. And I think it was the bad influence one. I saw repeating of revives up to about five to ten times, and it was a great opportunity to grab them. But then after a while, they stopped reforming. And I would say that's the the thing to watch out for. Maybe go and have a look to see if they're there. And as I said, classics are a great opportunity for you to go. Go and grind, as I do, to get some units, to get some health potions, but also get some re-repeating revives, which you can do the same process of going into auto-fighting, and it can um, yeah, be a good opportunity for you as a player. Now, I did say I'd move on to solo events and solo event grinding, and that is what I'm going to do right now. So when it comes to hero use side of things, which is on at the moment, one of the easiest processes is either to auto-fight onto lower difficulty because here's the thing you don't need to really worry about it. you put on auto fight same thing with normal because you're just like okay auto fight normal boom done and that's a good opportunity you then got the same process you can do in road to labyrinth so if you're looking for an opportunity one energy spend a time one energy a tile you know it's a good, great time and a great opportunity look out for side events or side quests where for whatever reason there may be zero energy spend you know time time is thing like this that zero energy spend lower difficulties with higher champions can be a good opportunity or if not go road to labyrinth and go to the first quest go in and do that it doesn't matter what you do it could it could even be old variants it could be classic variants which are again easy to do get units at the end of it so you can double up on what you take home when it comes to that when it comes to level up for me personally i rank up champions i like might do rank five and then kind of wait Wait for level up, and then I'll level up the champion to that 565, or the 65 of the uh, of the rank 5. So at least then what I'm doing is, 
that usually, going from 0 to 65 level for a 5 star, will get the units and pass. There will be like a little smidge that will be available for you to kind of like go a bit further. But I always seem to leave champions that are, you know, to be leveled up a little bit more. I think I've got like a guillotine, which is kind of like just about to be finished. But and also a Black Widow Clairvoyant, which again is about to be uh, is about to be finished off. So it's, it's just a case of like the process of it. It is that like you see just there. Like I don't use this champion that much, but what I do is I'll leave it with a little bit more levels, so that even though I'm not predominantly using it, I will be using it at a later date. I'll be looking to just make sure that I'm securing that level up without having to like constantly take my ISO and use it and use it more sparingly for positions and times where I maximize my take home. That's kind of the main tip there. When it comes to event quest completion, however, that's going to be down to your progression of the game and where you're up to. For me personally, if I was to do it, I always leave some content to do when it drops up. So I can endula like, uncollected the last two chapters there. I'd probably recommend to go and repeat through and grind. If I was uh, timing it for the first week of the month, I would probably go with the Cavalier difficulty towards towards like the end part. I'd do that once it's there. But you can still get away with doing the first two chapters to maximize your point take home for the efficiency of grabbing event quest completion. And if you're doing lowers than that, then you could do just master the last two chapters and so on and so forth. Even like if you're doing auto fighting through some lower lower things in heroic and normal, you're still adding towards those totals and it's helpful. With arena wins, it's a bit different because you'll have to, unfortunately, if you're not a massive fan of arena wins, you may just avoid it or you kind of choose to go into arenas like doing the this one here with five stars, which is the basic or the featured or indeed doing something where you want to like grind in the summoner trials. It's down to a personal preference on that one of when you go and uh, and do the grind in order to, uh, when you're doing arena grind, do it with arena wins. I think that's pretty simple. And that's really been it. That's been my top tips when it comes to uh, grabbing units. Well, not grabbing units, grabbing revives and health potions, but as well at the same time, you can grab units. Uh, yeah, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hopefully it helped. I've done a little write-up in the description down below. Go check it out. Appreciate you so much for supporting the channel as you do. Make sure as well, check out some content on screen right now. It's going to be some spicy stuff, maybe some less than spicy stuff, and all that stuff as well. Thanks for watching. See you soon. Bye-bye.